Hi, this is Squad. And in this video, I want to tell you about sales cycle M checkpoint signaling. There are four nice checkpoints in a sales cycle to make sure that the sales cycle is good. First one is G1 checkpoint, then you have G1 to S checkpoint, S checkpoint, and finally the M checkpoint. M checkpoint makes sure that the mitosis is happening healthy. All of these checkpoints use CDK, cell cycle dependent kinase, to phosphorylate many proteins. And these proteins would go do their job of making sure that checkpoint process is good. And the amount of CDK proteins is constant in a cell, but the CDK activity can happen only if there is good amount of a specific cycling. And each checkpoint uses specific CDK cycling pair to do its checking job. And in an M phase checkpoint, cycling B regulates CDK1 and many proteins turn on and off. And one of these proteins that turn on is APC, anaphase promoting complex. And APC's job is to mark a protein for uh, degradation. And this is called ubiquitination. And in the presence of a cycling B, CDK1 is activated and CDK1 will phosphorylate the APC. And APC is going to go and mark three main proteins for destruction. And the first target is lamin. Lamin is the protein that makes the nuclear envelope. And APC is marking lamin for destruction to make the nuclear material more accessible. And then the second target is securin. And securin is a protein that binds cystic chromatids. So here is chromosome 1, this is the DNA, and in the S phase you copy the chromosome 1 to create identical uh, cystic chromatid. And these proteins that bind these cystic chromatids are securin, and APC wants to get rid of securin to free the cystic chromatids from each other. And this is why APC is called the anaphase promoting complex because in the metaphase, cystic chromatids align and in the anaphase, these cystic chromatids will be pulled by the microtubules to segregate. For that to happen, the securin must be gone. And then the third target of the APC is the cycling B itself. This is because as cycling B accumulates, CDK1 function increases and uh, a lot of magic happens and this magic has to stop otherwise it's going to get out of control and APC one of the target of CDK1 is going to remove the cycling B so that this negative feedback contains this checkpoint process and finally the amount of APC in a cell is fairly constant so CDK phosphorylation is what controls the APC activity not the expression and in cancers, APC can be mutated and the mutation would leave this APC to be on even without the help of CDK1. And this is pretty bad because this constantly on APC is going to drive the cell to go through cell cycle and the cell cycle is not going to be checked and this uncontrollable growth can lead to cancer. 